The Canadian government is sending a team to the Philippines to discuss ways to boost defense cooperation as it anticipates to sign a new deal. Canadian ambassador to the Philippines David Hartman did not provide more details but said the officials would arrive within the week. Last year Hartman said Ottawa and Manila are hoping to sign a Memorandum of Understanding MO, on defense cooperation by January 2024 a deal that could also open up opportunity for a visiting forces agreement between the two states. Philippine government representatives discussed with Canadian representatives the possibility of purchasing a fleet of these fighter jets. The fighter jets in question are the latest models with state-of-the-art technology, including exceptional maneuverability, integrated defense systems, and advanced avionics systems. The Philippine government is reportedly considering purchasing 12 advanced fighter jets from Canada that have attracted attention with their outstanding technology and combat capabilities. The fighter jets, recognized as one of the most advanced in the category, will reportedly give a new boost to strengthening the Philippines' national defense capabilities. The Canadian Embassy in Manila witnessed signs of the Philippines' growing interest in acquiring this fighter jet during its official visit. This will give the Philippines an edge in maintaining air security and responding to various challenges that may arise in the future. Officials say our desire to strengthen our national defense capabilities is more pressing. Given the changing security dynamics in the region, Advanced fighter jets from Canada offer great potential for providing strong air protection for the Philippines. The Government of Canada openly welcomes the interest of the Philippines and its partner countries in selling the latest defense technology. They have affirmed their commitment to support regional partners in their efforts to build strong defense capabilities. While no official decision has been taken on this purchase, this move demonstrates the increasingly close relationship between the Philippines and Canada in the defense sector. In a move that could reshape the regional security landscape, Canada plans to provide 12 new F-A-18 Hornet fighter jets as part of a defense deal currently being negotiated. According to Canada's ambassador to the Philippines, David Hartman, a meeting between officials of both countries is expected to result in the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding MO, on defense cooperation in January 2024. In this context, Canada is committed to providing tangible support by offering 12 advanced F-A-18 Hornet fighter jets, recognized for their cutting-edge technology and outstanding combat capabilities. The fighter jets offered by Canada are known not only for their exceptional maneuverability but also for integrated defense systems and advanced avionics technology. Considering the potential purchase of these 10 fighter jets by the Philippines, it can be anticipated that this will provide a new boost to national defense capabilities. The decision to strengthen the Philippines' defense capabilities with these advanced fighter jets is believed to provide an advantage in maintaining air security and responding to various challenges that may arise in the future. Given the continuously changing security dynamics in the region, the advanced fighter jets from Canada are expected to offer strong air protection for the Philippines. The Canadian government openly welcomes the interest of the Philippines and other partners in acquiring the latest defense technology. They have affirmed their commitment to supporting regional partners in efforts to build robust defense capabilities. With the potential of this agreement, the defense ties between Canada and the Philippines are growing stronger. Although there is no official decision on this purchase yet, this move reflects an increasingly close defense relationship between the two countries. All eyes will be on the outcome of these negotiations, which could chart a new course in regional security in Southeast Asia.